Hey everyone, what's going on? Uh, it's December. So I guess it's time to do some more high A stuff. I guess it's been about a year since I've done anything for it. Uh, I ordered a Romer uh, lift kit and they supplied me with these uh, low profile energy bump stops. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put those in today. Um, I'll probably end up doing the rest of it eventually, but right now this is what we're doing. Um, so these bump stops replace right here. Uh, they say that you can uh, pry them out. Uh, mine are kind of dry rotted and not happy, so I'm just going to cut the nipple and remove them. Um, they say it helps if you have a friend, uh, hopefully a fat friend, to sit in the side that you're working on to get it out. Um, we don't have one. I am the fat friend, and, well, I'm doing the work by myself. So we're going to go ahead and cut these out and try to install the new ones. Try to find a good spot for you guys to watch. <clears throat> There's no good spot for you guys to watch. That's kind of kind of late. Uh, we'll find some. Good enough for you guys, huh? Just cut the whole nipple off and then the bump stop pulls out just like that. <clears throat> These uh, energy ones, they have a uh, 14 millimeter locking nut on them. Uh, they do recommend that you don't over tighten them as you can pull the thread out of the bump stop. And uh, we're gonna be too low. So we're gonna readjust and then uh, I'll get back with you guys. Okay, cool. Uh, so. I made some adjustments real quick. I, uh, I don't have any friends that'll sit in here for me. I uh, I tried 80 pounds of dog food and that didn't work. Uh, so what we did was we lifted up the front end and uh, we put it on a couple of four by sixes. Um, everything's still supported and in spot. Uh, but really, the, now all we're gonna do is uh, put you guys back where you can see. Right. And now that we have the clearance, you just take this that's in there. Get our 14 mil. And thread it on. Oh. It's a plastic locking washer. And so what we're gonna do from there is run it up with this. Now, remember they say, they say that uh, you can pull the stud out of the bump stop, so be careful. Well, I am having an issue here. I don't know what's going on. All right, well, apparently we don't like the, uh, the electric ratchet very much. So, I'm gonna 
here with the old school one and it's kind of spinning on the deal here but So the uh, the lock washer doesn't like the electric ratchet very much, so we got to get out the peasant ratchet. I'm gonna go ahead and just turn him a little bit till he's taut. There we go. That bump stop doesn't seem to be going anywhere, and it's locked in. Uh, so, woo! Almost dropped you guys. Okay, uh, we're back on the other side, and we got our. Uh, four by sixes in place or two by sixes whatever one four by six with them stacked i guess uh so we're gonna go ahead and just do the whole thing here from this side once again we get you in your little easy to view spot here make sure you guys don't fall down yeah cool that's a good view and uh, i don't feel like putting these out so we're gonna go ahead and get our straight edge in here a little nipple off and then we pull out our old bump stop get our new bump stop take our nut off and slide it into place back on there All right. get our uh, peasant ratchet seeing as the locking washer or locking nut does not like the, uh, the electric ratchet And there you go so that's uh that's step one uh the email they sent me is uh you got to do those first uh if you don't do those first and you raise your torsion bars then the bump stop gets stuck in between uh they also say that once you raise it uh don't raise it completely to the bump stop uh, you'll leave yourself about a quarter of an inch here uh, i got about half or so I guess uh, I think my torsion bars might have already been spun up some um, if you're looking at what's next I don't think I'm gonna do it today uh, but this right here is our uh, oh, well, <laughs> I accidentally ended the video uh, this is our torsion bar adjustment uh, I've already put plenty of PB blaster on it um, and we're gonna see how it goes uh, while you're under here, take a look at what you got going on. Uh, my poor van here, my my frame support here. Seeing some really, really, really bad rust right there. Uh, luckily, that's just a piece of tubing. I can probably fashion a new one, no big deal. Um, but these torsion bars run, let's see here. They run the length here. They go all the way up into the upper control arm. 
uh, if you're trying to figure out where they are, because uh, I was thinking, oh, front suspension, look at the front suspension, and old Toyotas, they have the adjustment as inside the frame rail, and whatever for the American pickup trucks. But uh, I read somewhere, the best place to look for it is go to your sliding door, sit down in the middle, lay down, and then look for it. And uh, there you are, it's right there. So uh, it's the same spot on the other side. Uh, we'll get around to that. Um, you're supposed to adjust those evenly. Uh, but right now that was our uh, NRG low profile bump stop video. Cool, thanks.